Hello everybody, welcome to another unboxing video. Today I'm gonna unbox another Kickstarter I got recently and this time I'm gonna unbox the game Mintworks. So as you can see it's a very tiny game. It's not my tiniest game in my collection. I have this one over here, Quattro, that's a little bit tinier. Um, Quattro is a bit the same like Quirkle for those I don't know what Quattro is. But as you can see it's uh, it's not my smallest game in my collection. But it doesn't mean it's a bad game at all. So what I've heard, this is a game made by a one-man company, uh, 524 Labs. Uh, the game had a very excellent good uh, campaign. And it delivered has been delivered like two or three months before the delivery date. So that's quite exciting. And as you can hear, there are some mints inside of it. So let's crack this one up and see what's inside of it and what made the game so excellent and great, according to so many people on the internet. So let's have a look. Okay, it's open. All right, so it's a quart tin box. And let's see, oh, that's, oh, that's annoying. The rule book's inside of it, but it's quart stuck. <laughs> How can you open this without killing it? Well, they kind of packed the box quite heavy. <laughs> There's like not, not a lot of airspace in it. So what do we have here? I think this is like some kind of... Uh, yeah, this must be like the kind of uh, player cheat sheet we are used to. We are getting a, a tin rule book. But it's not that tin. It actually has uh, 20 pages. So it's a, it's a small box, but it's a, like a big game inside of it. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, how can I pull this out? Get out! No, that's it. Yeah, yeah, here it. Oh my god. <laughs> that really does look like mint. It's really like a mint. <laughs> and that's quite cool. It has some starting player. It's like some some kind of gum. <laughs> awesome. So we are getting some cards. Let's open this up and see what's on it. Some some kind of worker placement game where you you have to do things. I don't even know. I I just backed this game because it was quite cheap. I think I pay like twelve dollars uh, shipping included. Uh, and and like the, the the thing because it was a one man company and whoa those cards does feel good they're laminated so they, they do feel like uh, yeah yeah they do have a quite good feeling so uh, we have some I don't know just the game designer Rachel the keeper and Morty Mint Tycoon and Sonic the cuteness <laughs> no idea what those are. Uh, okay, let's have a look. What do we have over here? So we are getting different things where we can put our mints on it, I think, like here. And then gain a plan from the plant supply, supplier, producer. So they are getting different cards. I don't know how these are called. Let's have a look inside of it. So these are the location line. And these are the, I don't know what these are. It's not written in the books. It's not written in a book. So we have the locations over here. So a different location where you can put your, your workers on it or your mints. And what else are those things I got over here? I don't know. I really don't have no wait so one two wait 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 wait. How many players can play this game? One, two, four. So I suppose No. Nope. No idea what it was are. Let's continue the unboxing. So we are getting different locations where we can put our uh, our mints on it. Swap meat, crowd funder, <laughs> cool. And over here we are getting. Let's have a look. Our plants, I think. Yeah, these are the plants. So count. We can build things like bridges, windmill, museum, statue, gardens, gallery. Okay, different plants you have over here. And that's basically it. So. Keep in mind, it's a very small game. Like, yeah, don't expect like I don't know how much time you, you it can be played. Ten to twenty minutes. So it's a little small gateway, 
But the fun part about of it is you can take this game overall with you. You it's a portable game. You you can put it in your backpack and or when you're traveling and you will have some kind of work replacement in your back back. Because most of work replacements are are just big ass boxes and are quite hard to transport. And that's the main reason why I kinda back this game, because I want to have um, a portable game with a cool team. Uh, and a cool box and the only setback I'm having now is how the hell do you fit everything back in the box <laughs> like you see I'm quite struggling now so that's the only setback it's a minor setback because it's, it's a small it's a small game so I think you have to put all your mints first flat in it let's have a look it will help uh, put my cards on top I'm quite scared for the corners to, to bend and for some awkward reason it's still not inside of it like this like this okay Mentworks by <laughs> Justin Blake from um, 5 to 4 laps I keep a heads up how the gameplay is so that's it for today see you in the next video bye bye <laughs> Dad, it still doesn't fit in how can you fix this I can't put it inside of it, but I can put the rule book in it without problems. This game is a bit tiny too small. I, it doesn't close! God damn it! Why? It's close, but you can't put a rule book. Ah. First, I put the mince in, all flat. Yes! Yes! It's closed. Okay. Thank God. I owe. Yes. It's closed.